สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n s a Today is Thursday, June 1st, the start of a new month. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. There are rumblings from officials in the caretaker government that they say that there is a possibility of the results of the May 14 general election could be nullified, depending on the details of the shareholding violation complaints against Move Forward Party leader Pita l i n j a n r o n r a t Caretaker Deputy Prime Minister w i s a n u k r a n Nam. Made the statement while responding to questions about the possible scenarios if the Constitutional Court rules against Pita, who holds 42,000 shares in ITV, an independent broadcaster founded in the 1990s. ITV has been off the airwaves for years and has ceased operations, though their broadcasting rights were given to Thai PBS. However, ITV is still a legally registered media company due to ongoing litigation involving its sale. Pita was appointed executor of his father's shares when he passed away 17 years ago and had been trying to sell them, but to no avail, and later told anti corruption officials about the media shares after he was elected MP in 2019. Though the claim right now is that he had not declared the shares on his assets list. A candidate is constitutionally barred from contesting an election if he or she owns a stake in a media company. The Election Commission has started an investigation into the shareholding complaints against Pita. Who is the party's list MP and prime ministerial candidate? The complaints are calling into question Pita's status as an MP and as the future prime minister, with speculation growing that it might affect the fate of all Move Forward Party candidates. When asked about what happens if the petitions target Pita's approval of the Move Forward Party candidates, he said that in such a scenario, there could be a new nationwide general election. The Move Forward Party leader said there is time for him to clarify the allegations and has not seen the details of the complaints. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A Phuket Airport taxi driver will be charged with reckless driving causing damage to government property after he lost control of his green plate taxi and slammed into a tree on Tepka Satri Road on Tuesday afternoon. The crash took place at about 4 45 p.m. on Tuesday on the northbound lanes of Tepka Satri Road, about 300 meters from the old airport turnoff. Photos of the scene showed the door of the taxi bearing a sticker identifying the car as part of the fleet of taxis from Phuket Mai Kao Saku Ko Ltd., better known by their initials PMK, which is one of the cooperatives with exclusive rights to serve tourists at Phuket International Airport. Witnesses told police that the taxi was traveling at high speed on the wet road when the accident happened. 51 year old driver m o n s e t Mapia Pan. Had to be extricated from the vehicle and was later sent to Talang Hospital to treat injuries to his chest and legs, according to police. He will be charged with reckless driving and destruction of government property, but not speeding, as police say there's no CCTV covering the section of road where the accident occurred. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The Phuket Immigration Office teamed up with over 800 accommodation providers around the island, resulting in the apprehension of more than 1,000 foreigners overstaying their visas. Phuket officials said the achievement comes as the result of crime free measures implemented by businesses, enabling them to promptly inform the police about any suspicious activities involving foreign guests, according to NNT. Phuket Immigration Chief Police Colonel Tanet Sukchai said the number of foreign guests registered at accommodations in Phuket. Over the past two months, exceeded the number of foreign tourists who arrived in the same period by over 20%. This discrepancy prompted an investigation, leading to the identification and capture of numerous visa overstayers. From May 1st to the 25th, Immigration Police conducted raids on 1,550 targeted locations across the island. According to the Immigration Bureau's Information Technology Center, a total of 1,050 foreigners were found to have overstayed their visas. Among them, just under 400 individuals were not staying at their reported accommodations, and 228 had already departed the country. A further 331 tourists had submitted requests to extend their visas, while 109 were reported to have passed away. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Two nightclubs that operate opposite each other on Prapukekeo Road in Katu 
were raided early this morning for operating in the late hours, causing a public disturbance, serving alcohol to minors, and more. The raids were carried out on the Ratri Club and the Mahanakon Phuket Club early this morning after a plainclothes officer entered the venues at about 2.30 a.m. and confirmed the transgressions. The raids followed local residents in the area filing complaints about the venues staying open late and causing a nuisance. Reports say both venues regularly had hundreds of revelers partying all through the night and served alcohol to minors, with claims that the Ratri Club stayed open until 4 a.m. and Mahanakon Phuket until 6 a.m., according to reports. Police say that raid teams also caught several revelers attempting to flee, including 10 minors, some who were 17 years old, while they also said that a couple 19-year-olds, who they described as minors, were also taken into custody. The owners of both venues were charged with operating an entertainment venue without a permit and selling alcohol during restricted hours. According to the report by authorities, the cases will be reported to the Phuket governor with a request to have the venues ordered closed for five years. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Cash prizes will be on the line in the upcoming Kaolak Surf Festival 2023 in neighboring Pangna province, according to organizers of the competition, who say it's free to enter. The Kaolak Surf Festival 2023 will take place on the weekend of June 16th to the 18th at Memory Beach in Kaolak, just north of Phuket in Pangna province. There will be men's and women's shortboard and longboard competitions with limited spots up for grabs in each category. Men's shortboard competition is limited to 48 competitors, while the men's longboard will impose a limit of 32 entries. The women's shortboard and longboard categories will be limited to 24 competitors in each class. Cash prizes will be distributed in each category, with 20,000 baht for the first place in men's and women's longboard and shortboard, 15,000 baht for second place in both classes, and 10,000 baht for third place finishers. To learn how to register, visit thepuketnews.com or visit the link in the description. Thanks for starting your month with us here on this Thursday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. I'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.